So my name is Shai with Satoshi's Treasure Hunters, and this is the weekly hunt update of July 6th through July 16th. We are going to talk about the Numeric Key, the D Live Key, uh, the Flantry Key, uh, I think the Clan or the Cult Key a little bit, and the Earth Key. So we're just going to talk about some of the keys that have been out there, what has not been solved, what has been solved, uh, what any if any really there hasn't been really any gaming news i do know that a new clue has dropped and i will talk about that during my uh clue drop video but for now we'll just talk about uh basically the mostly about the d live key and what's going on with that so let's get into the news or i should say let's get into onto the hunt okay this is just an example of one of the d live uh streamers that participated in the hunt he was agent four which is virtual bacon I have a list in the show notes of all the uh, participants of the hunt. Uh, I mentioned them during my clue drop video. Uh, if you haven't yet quite solved for any of these keys, you still can. Uh, DLive has a replay system where you can find the replays of each of these uh, streamers and you can go through their videos and find uh, the QR codes as well as the passphrases embedded in each of their videos. Each one had done it differently. Sometimes they threw up the QR code and then the passphrase all at once. Others broken apart in different pieces. They either displayed it on their streaming screen or they hid it around about their their room. Um, in the case of uh, Virtual Bacon, some of the clues were uh, given riddles. So you had to actually look, like literally search to the DLive service in order to be able to find the QR codes. Um, it was a fun game, it was an interesting game. Um, <clears throat> it was all different times. Uh, it was really, really, if you had a clan that you're wor working with, it made it much easier. If you're working on your own, uh, it proved a little bit tedious or difficult, if you will. And, but also very informative, and uh, I'll explain how that is. So, for example, this is something I was not aware about when it came to QR codes. I knew if you had, like, for example, here, I mean, Enlarge this a little bit. So as you can see, the the full QR code here where the mouse is. I knew like um, for advertisement stuff like that, if a little smudge or whatever of the full QR code, you could still scan it. I wasn't aware of the fact uh, during the solving experience that if you had three of the parts of the QR code, you can still scan the QR code. And I also learned a little bit more. So I knew with QR codes, like if you had the full QR code, as you can see, that's enhanced here, you could um, scan if there was a smudge. I knew with the QR code, uh, if you had the full QR code, as you can see here, if there was like a smudge or a little nick, if you will, it would still scan. What I learned from uh, participating in this particular clue solve, if you will, is that you only need three pieces of the QR code or a, a significant portion of the, the data in order to solve it. Uh, this is, I have a couple articles as well as a tool that may be helpful for you in order to find the QR codes. Excuse me. In order to make the solve. Um, I learned a little bit more about how they are, I, I guess you can say they work. Like the position and orientation, I knew like you had to have three of the big squares here, uh, the formatting information, and just how it's pieced together, if you will. This is a great article here. Uh, this one, about you can kind of understand by generating your own QR code. Uh, error corrections, a really simple breaking down of decoding a broken QR code, how to piece it together. This is from a different ARG game, uh, which is actually still going on. Uh, every year of the season of Mr. Robot, there has been an ARG game, and there's one right now. If you're interested, uh, you can go on to Reddit. I think it's ARG Robot, and you can find information um, as well as links in this particular article about that particular ARG game. And this right here, K K Q Razy Box, it took me a while to find this one. Uh, it's off of GitHub. It helps you being able to kind of fix and play with QR codes. But really, fundamentally, the best way to solve for a QR code was if you had, a, as I took a picture here of virtual bacon on his first night, 
uh, he didn't do this for everyone. This is just the first one. You had to do a screen capture. Uh, some of the other ones, like uh, King Gang, Alitzo, and Flow Driver, had the QR codes in the, in the streaming, as well as did um, Enforcer One, and you had to piece it together. Uh, you basically you know, took a screenshot, and then you can kind of like clip it, enhance it, clip it. Let me fix the webcam here. You had to clip it, kind of fix it, enhance it, if you will. Uh, get it to you. You can have, like, you know, the actual QR code. And then piece it together, either uh, depending on what kind of service you have, either Paint, Photoshop, GIMP, and just basically piece the QR codes together until you, uh, sometimes you, call it, you had to reorientate them because they didn't orientate them right, either deliberate or unintentional. Uh, piece them together and this allowed you to be able to scan with your phone or whatever device you had and then you were able to unlock uh, the decryptor page and then uh, depending on the streamer in the case of virtual bacon it was today uh, you had to get the passphrase uh, with enforcer he like chopped them up a few of the others chopped them up as well you had to get the pieces and then they weren't in order, so you had to basically piece together either using a brute force password program or piecing it together yourself to be able to uh, figure out what the exact passphrase is to decrypt the page. And I will show you two of these keys. One is FlowDriver, one is from Lizondo because they actually pulled up the full QR code. So uh, let me put, input the passphrases for those. And there'll be a link in the show notes for each of these uh, particular ones, as well as a link to the key itself, uh, both in the show note as well as on the key, um, So here is one of the keys. Um, again, it's in the show notes. Uh, here is one of the keys. Again, it's in the show notes, as well as the uh, Google Drive document. And here we go. Here is the other one. So the DLive key is considered solved. So let's go to Satoshi's Treasure site. As you can see, the Earth key is still unsolved. I have a link to Virtual Bacon. He actually kind of went through both the numeric key on how you can solve it yourself, how he was going about solving it, um, as well as he was going through the Earth key and his thoughts on how to solve the Earth key, which currently as it stands, it's been almost two months now, is still unsolved. Uh, the philanthropic key, Philanthropic key, they have already issued the first winner. There will probably be a winner sometime tomorrow. Uh, the cult key has, let's see, is it back up? All right, it has not been um, fixed yet. Uh, the cult key right here is still considered found. The first one has been issued. The zero knowledge key, the first one of that has been issued. Uh, let's see. The neurotic key has been solved. We'll talk about that. Uh, the DLive keys, the first two of them you can find like right off the bat. Like I said, FlowDriver and Lazamba uh, threw up the QR codes and the passphrase in their streams. Uh, so there's no piecing together anything. Uh, the other four, you're going to have to piece it together yourself. Uh, so that's six keys that you can obtain of just piecing together the QR codes and figuring out the passphrases. A uh, pretty simple key, you know, pretty simple, I would say, in the sense that it's just really copy and pasting and just orientating the QR codes to be, make it scannable. And then we'll talk about the street key when, it, um, when I do the clue video. So the numeric key was a series of numbers which allow you to um, figure out the passphrase. Uh, we were actually given the decryptor page, so we didn't have to figure out the decryptor page and the passphrase. It was just figuring out the passphrase. On Twitter, uh, Greater, uh, uh, to two people I follow on um, Satoshi's uh, Treasures, Hunter's official Twitter account, uh, Thanks to Epix X, 
uh, who's out from Japan, Japanese Hunter and Gutierrez.com. Uh, he threw up the pretty much <laughs> the key for the neuronic key. Uh, you can almost figure out some of the numbering here if you're unable to solve it yourself, but that'd be like a big guess. Uh, he talked about how he had the link. He linked to a Python Python code to help him solve it. Um, there was also a hint given to me. Um, I have a link in the show notes to the Twitter person uh, who gave it to me about the Zimmerman telegram, which was from World War One. Uh, it was came out of Mexico about Germany and Mexico and espionage, and it used uh, this kind of neuronic code, if you will, to uh, send basically a coded message uh, back back to the homeland, if you will. So that was a possible way of kind of giving you a hint of what to expect on what to do with this key, which is basically uh, the clue was a code breaker, uh, a code breaker clue, clue if you will. Uh, and I also have a link in the show notes uh, from the same person who suggested to me on Twitter about using this particular set of tools, uh, Python's tools to help uh, basically break the code for you in order to figure out how to uh, solve for this particular clue. Uh, Virtual Bacon actually goes through a breakdown of both his thoughts on the Earth key and the Neurot key, and he actually goes through a breakdown where it has to deal with prime numbers and figuring out the prime numbers and duplications and then transferring those prime numbers to the concept of uh, lettering. And then he didn't actually solve it on the channel itself, but it's another hint, if you will, another way for you to figure out how uh, if you're not like a developer or a computer person like myself, how to go through the process of those steps of learning how to figure out for the passphrase for this particular uh, code. And then let's talk about some of the keys. So the art tour key is not on here, but people have been trying to track down the artist, uh, Shirley Shore, and where her uh, art exhibits are in New York and no one's really been able to get success in tracking it down so I personally think as of now the art tour key is kind of donezo uh, basically you had to be in New York at the time and been able to get to that exhibit and figure out what that particular you know solving for the clue and getting that particular key I personally think it's donezo really um, the room key could potentially uh, the exhibit ended July 7th but because the key sticker is outside of the that area, I think you can still go to that area and find that sticker unless they, they sent someone there to scrape it off the fire hydrant. I think it's possible still, even though July 7th has passed, for you to be able to find the room key. Um, let's see. Uh, the zero knowledge key hasn't been publicly disclosed, but it has um, been solved for. It's one of the prizes for the... Uh, Z Snarks uh, crypto challenge for those who are more uh, talented in that area to be able to tame those keys that hasn't been publicly disclosed but there's still two more keys available all the way to uh, it ends July 29th the uh, life key is done the philanthropist key is going all the way to the end of this month so there's still a chance for your clan or as an individual for you to obtain three additional keys by giving to the, the Binance charity fund uh, Toshi Cipher Group was the winner of the first set of key, that first set of keys. Um, let's go back to so Earth Key, Philanthropist Key. Uh, the Cold Key is not up and running yet again. Um, let's see. Pretty much it. Let's see. Uh, the number in the keys because many of these keys are now multiples that's why you're seeing the numbers like are really high even though there might be some gaps like we don't know what the numbering is for the hunter key that was like potentially three keys only one was found we do know the numbering for the the d live key goes to 29 to 33 uh the new key is 34. um so while the key numbers are kind of high, there, I think there's a few keys out there, particularly like with the cult key uh, being multiples. Uh, we don't know the, the numbering for the zero knowledge key, and that's a multiple. Um, 
I think you can fairly say that up to this point right now, there's 34 keys out there up that has been found, which which is good progress, really. Um, we're supposed to have, you know, four, f obtain 400 out of 1,000 keys in order to unlock the address. And not all these keys are going to be found, considering look at the Earth key and the Art Tour key. Uh, the business key is something people are still working on that hasn't been quite found yet. Um, who knows with the zero knowledge key if the other two keys are going to be found in the reasonable time. For the most part, up until the drop of this clue day, I've been pretty satisfied with the pacing and the different types of clues that have come out. I think the game makers have may have regressed, and I'll talk about that during the uh, clue video when it comes <laughs> to some of the clues they've dropped. But for the most part, I like the progression that's going on. I still think they could um, release a bit more keys at one, you know, different types of keys at, at a time. Um, considering this game is only supposed to take a year. But so far, for the, they've, they've made some adjustments to the game. They've acknowledged some of the hiccups. Uh, one of the things I put in the Telegram Messenger, and I haven't received a response back, was that the D-Live key was uh, indicated found before the end of uh, July 14th and before, um, I think, the last streamer put up their passphrase for anyone to have figured it out. So it makes me wonder if, like the 100 key, if you found one out of three keys um, is considered found or they think enough of the information is out there to indicate to be found. I really didn't get a response about, you know, what the key number is for a clue to, you know, a key to be considered found, particularly when there's some of these keys or, or clues are for multiples. But maybe if I just email or uh, I don't want to ha haggle the game makers um, too much, but maybe if I just clarify my questioning in the Telegram chat, um, I can get a response back from the game makers. But and that's it for now. Um, it, like I said, the D-Life key was actually pretty fun for me. I like streaming. I, I watch YouTube. I, you know, I go online. I watch Twitch and stuff like that. So it was a fun experience. I knew about the D-Life project. I hadn't really gone too in-depth into it. But, you know, I've now gone down that rabbit hole. And it might put it in the rotation of stuff that I have, um, that I will watch. I think it's a pretty fairly good platform. Um, very similar to Twitch and YouTube and what they're trying to do there, but they're trying to be more content creator emphasis and um, rewards for both the users, you know, the viewers and the contributors to the platform. We'll see how that goes. They've only been doing this really for about two years. They've got a lot of steam from PewDiePie, but we'll see how things progress a year from now of what their status is and where they are. Um, but that's it. The D Life key is done. The keys are out there. I have a link to the two easiest ones that are out there. Um, the rest you're going to have to piece for yourself. Or unless somebody else makes them public, then I will share them, if you will. Um, for the most part, I don't like to uh, share um, keys if I'm working with a clan that have not been publicly disclosed. Uh, let's see. Uh, what you expect from me is I'm going to do another clue video. I think I've pretty much finished up with the Sprawl video, which is my um, book review of that trilogy by William Gibson. Um, I'm going to talk about clans, um, just my thoughts about clans in itself. Those are the videos you can expect uh, from me um, coming from the channel. Oh, I do have uh, Soshi's Treasure Hunters as a podcast. I will have a link in the show notes. Um, it's going through Anchor um, FM. So you can find it there, or you can find it on Spotify right now as Satoshi Treasure Hunters. Um, so my name is Haroja Scheib. Uh, you've been watching Satoshi Treasure Hunters. This is the weekly uh, hunt update for July 6th through the 13th. And uh, on with the hunt. <laughs>